What's up, Michael here with Fitter Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build an accordion in Webflow really, really easily. Now we're gonna be building this accordion. It's gonna be super simple. I'm gonna keep it very simple and minimal, and then you can add to it if you want to customize the design or improve upon it. But basically, it's a pretty standard accordion. We click on the accordion, and it's gonna open up and reveal the paragraph below. And it's the same for all the rest. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so the only thing I have in this project so far is I have a section and a container and obviously this heading, but nothing for the accordion is built yet. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in the div and this is going to be the accordion wrapper. So I'm just gonna call this accordion wrapper. And then you're gonna want to set this to 100%. And then within the accordion wrapper, we can now start building the individual accordions. So all we have to do is build one accordion and then we can duplicate it and it will be the exact same. So drop in another div and this is going to be, if we go back to this project right here, this is going to be the, it's going to be called accordion, just simple accordion um, because this is going to hold our accordion header and our accordion panel and I'll show you what those are here soon. So we're gonna call this accordion. And then within the accordion, we are gonna drop another div and this is going to be called accordion header. Now within the accordion, so not within the accordion header, but within the accordion, we want to drop in another div and this is going to be called accordion panel. So now we have our header this is going to hold the title of the accordion. And then if we open the accordion, the accordion panel is going to hold our paragraph text. So let's go back and within our accordion header, we're going to add some text. So I'm just going to do text blocks block. And then within the accordion panel, I'm just going to add a paragraph. Now, if we go back to our accordion over here, you can see on the accordion header div, we have it set to flex, horizontal, and aligning it to the center. And then we have a two REM gap. This is just going to um, separate the title from the icon when um, it gets scrunched together on small screen sizes. So if I do that right now, you can see as I make it smaller, it's always going to um, have a two REM gap between the um, accordion icon and the title. So if we go back to our accordion header, we also have 1.5 REM padding around the edges. So let's go make those changes. Make sure your accordion header is selected. We're going to apply flex. It's going to be horizontal, which it is by default. And then we are going to align it to the center and we're gonna add a two REM gap, and then we are going to do a 1.5 REM padding on all sides. There we go, and so we can see what we're doing. I have a small border around the accordion. It looks like it is set on the accordion header, but it's actually set on the accordion div itself, so that when we open it, it is also around the accordion panel that is holding the paragraph inside. So we can go over to our accordion and then under accordion, the accordion div, we're just gonna scroll down, go to borders and we are going to add a one pixel border. I'm just gonna keep it black for now. Now we can move on to our accordion panel, the panel that holds the accordion uh, paragraph. So if we go over to our design, we have the accordion panel and we have zero REMs padding on top and then we have 1.5 REM paddings on the rest of the sides. So let's quick go add that. I have the accordion panel selected and we'll do, we can just leave it to zero on top but we can do 1.5 REM on the left and right. So I'm just gonna copy that. Then we're gonna do 1.5 REM on the bottom. There we go. So now our base, uh, basic accordion is set up properly. The last thing we have to add before we start building in the functionality where when you click on it, it opens. The last thing we have to do is add the icon. 
So right now I'm using an HTML embed because I am I have the SVG icon with code in here. You can just drop in an image of an icon if you want, but I prefer using the SVG icons with code like this so that I can simply change the color of the icon right here in Webflow. As you can see, I'm changing the color of the icon right here in Webflow. I have a video on how you can do that. I'll link it in the description below if you want to check it out. Um, but what we're going to do is you want to wrap your icon within a div called accordion icon wrapper. So let's go over and do that. And that is going to be within your accordion header. So I'm just going to drop in a div, call it accordion icon wrapper. And then I'm just going to paste in the embed code so I don't have to do all that from scratch. And then from here, with the accordion icon wrapper selected, we're going to specify a size. So let's try two REM, see how that looks. Uh, we could go a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do one REM. That looks pretty good. And then the last thing we have to do is to get the drop down icon on the right hand side with your accordion header selected. All we have to do is go over to our layout settings and justify it um, space between and then it will put it on the right hand side perfectly now what we're going to do is we are going to hide the accordion panel so i'm going to hide that and our accordion is now built the only thing we have to do is build an interaction so that when you click on the accordion it will unhide the accordion panel Okay, so we are going to be adding the accordion interaction to the accordion header. So just make sure that is selected. And before we add the interaction, go to your style panel, scroll all the way down, and we're gonna change our cursor to, from the default cursor, we're gonna change it to the pointer. So that if we preview this, when we hover over the accordion, the user knows they can click on it. Obviously, if we click on it now, nothing's gonna happen because we didn't build the interaction. Um, but so make sure your accordion header is selected and now we are going to build the interaction We're going to use an element trigger and we're going to use a mouse click or tap Once you open that you can see we have a first click interaction and then we have a second click interaction Basically what we're going to do is we're going to build an interaction that unhides the accordion panel when we click on it the first time And then when we click on it the second time it is going to hide the accordion panel so I'm going to uh, select uh, action I'm going to select start an animation and then you're going to want to click the plus icon and we're just going to call this accordion open and then from here we have to select our accordion panel hit the plus icon and sele select hide show and then we're going to select this first option block that is going to unhide it all that's all done just click on save and then we're going to do a second click interaction we're going to start another animation we are going to uh, create a new animation we're going to call this accordion close and we do the same thing as before we select our accordion panel we go over to the actions and we are going to select the hide and show and then this time we are going to hide it if we click on save and then we preview if we click on the accordion it opens it and if we click on it again it hides it so it's all working perfectly now the last thing we have to do is if we go over to our design that we already have built if I open the accordion you're gonna see it flips the icon it is super simple all we have to do is go back to our accordion and uh, with our accordion header selected all we have to do is edit these interactions a little bit. So we'll open the accordion open interaction and then you want to select your accordion icon wrapper. And what we're gonna do is we are going to start a new animation and then we are going to add skew. Now you could add rotate. I like just flipping the icon up or you can add it where it rotates, whatever uh, is your personal preference. So with the accordion icon wrapper selected, we're going to go and just add a new animation and we're going to select rotate. And then from here, you have a few different options. You can rotate it where it will turn in a circle. 
I prefer it where it will just flip on itself, but this is whatever uh, you prefer. So I'm just gonna set the duration to 2.5. We'll see how that looks. And then we are going to flip the icon. Click on save, and then we're gonna go down to accordion close. And then we are going to make sure we have the accordion icon wrapper selected. And then we are going to start a new animation, select rotate. And this time we are just going to set whatever uh, rotate um, axis you chose. You just want to set that back to zero so that we can reset it. And we're going to do 0.25 seconds again. If we click on save. We can now preview it. If we open the accordion, it now flipped. And if we close it, it flips back. So it is working perfectly. Now the flip looks a little bit slow in my opinion. So we're just going to speed this up. And instead of 0.25, we're going to do 0.1. Same thing for the accordion close. We're going to do 0.1 again. Click on save. And if we preview it and then select the accordion, it now is a lot faster and looks a lot better. Now, the last step that we have to do is simply select your accordion div and copy and paste as many accordions as you need. Now, as you can see, there's no space between these accordions and that looks a little bit odd. So all you have to do is select your accordion wrapper, go to the style panel, and we are going to apply flex. We are going to make the direction to vertical, and then we are going to add a two REM gap. And that is going to put a gap between the accordions. Actually, I'm going to notch it down, knock it down a little bit. So let's do one REMs. And there we go. We nicely built um, four accordions. If I open the first one, it opens perfectly. I open the second one perfectly. And so do the rest of them. So that is how you build an accordion in Webflow. There will be a link in the description if you simply want to clone this accordion right here. And then you don't have to build it from scratch. You can just clone it and use it how it is and copy and paste it into your project. Also, if you are looking for Webflow developers or consulting, we do offer those services. So there will be links in the description below if you want to get in contact with us.